Miss Richards, how did the timeline videos go yesterday? They went so good, Mrs. Dana Jealous, and we learned a lot about each other, and we learned a lot about historical things that happened in our lifetimes. We had the same thing in my crew class. We really enjoyed getting to know each other and the things that happened during people's lifetimes. So thank you for participating. Thank you for turning those in. Thank you for working so hard on those. It means a lot to us, and we're enjoying watching the videos. Yeah, and remember, even if you haven't turned yours in yet, please still turn them in because we are still accepting them and we're only missing a few more. So if you're gonna take a late uh, grade on it, that's okay. It's worth so many points that it's worth turning it in and we still wanna watch your videos. Um, so make sure you're doing that. And yeah, I think that's it. Very important to turn those in. It is a huge amount of points. You want to turn that in even if it's late. You heard Mrs. Kuzma, I think, say, a zero crushes your grade. That is the same for us. That zero will crush your grade. Get it turned in, and we want to learn about you. So please turn that in. And lastly, um, it's going to take us a little bit of time to grade all of them. So be patient with us. Um, that was one of the reasons it was a strict two-minute time frame is because we're going to be watching all of those over the next few weeks. So thank you for your patience on that. And we are now going to jump to what we were doing today. First, um, you already answered or should have answered your question of the day. And the first part of that went over, do you think it's important to form opinions about history in our world and why? So we just want you to think about um, where historians are at when they're writing these textbooks and when they're studying and when they're doing archaeological digs, um, how they're forming their opinions and why that's important as we in our classrooms are studying that today. So take your time on that one. And then secondly, who is someone you look up to that is respectful to other people and their beliefs? And the main purpose for that question was because you might say someone like my grandma or um, an old teacher that you used to have or a parent. And we want you to think about the reason you may have said that person is because you trust them and you respect them and you know that they're not going to um, lie to you or try to um, convince you of something that's incorrect. You trust their opinions. And we want you to think of who that is in your life um, because we're about to study the who, what, where, when, and why of studying history in chapter one. And how do you get that information? How do you trust those different sources? So you need to be thinking about that. We'll refer back to these ideas throughout the chapter and really throughout the year. So please be thoughtful in those responses, even if you've already answered, of course. Just make sure that you're thinking those through as you go on. All right, and now you're going to learn about our online textbook that is posted in your Google Classroom and chapter one. Thanks students, have a great day today and please make sure to follow along. All right, happy Tuesday. See you tomorrow.